As a Colorado local who loves fall, I get asked all the time, what are my tips and tricks for viewing fall foliage in the Colorado Rockies? Seeing the best fall color in Colorado does take some thought and planning if you want to make sure to have the best autumnal adventure. And so, in this video, I give you five tips on how you can make sure to find the best fall foliage in Colorado. Thanks to our high altitude, our peak foliage usually comes in mid to late September, which is much earlier than other parts of the country. Every year is different, so be sure to look out for the various local foliage prediction maps which local Colorado news stations will put out. This one from KOAA in Colorado Springs is one of my favorites. That said, here are the dates and locations I have found to generally be good for each of the regions and destinations that I've highlighted in my previous videos. Which, if you haven't checked those out, I'll link them in the description as well as put some boxes on your screen. One of the biggest factors that will determine if you're going to get good fall color will be the weather, including the long-term drought outlook. In years when the mountains are experiencing severe drought, it's likely that the leaves will be less vibrant and will fall sooner than normal. I like to check to the U.S. Drought Monitor to see how conditions are where I'm planning to visit to get a general idea of how good the colors will be. It's a super helpful tool, and I'll put a link in the description. Weather in the weeks leading up to and into September will also have an effect. It's possible for the occasional deep freeze or snowstorm to hit parts of the state in the fall, which will pretty much end any foliage that might be popping. One of the most useful tools I use to find where foliage is popping at any given time is by using Instagram's geotag feature. Now, this system isn't foolproof and it does take some detective work, but I generally find that I can see how any given area is doing based on the most recent photos posted by people there. Let me show you how I do that. I start by typing in the name of where I want to go into the search function. In this case, it's Telluride. Once I'm on that page, on the right side I click Places, and then I choose whatever geotag is the most appropriate. From there it takes you to the top photos, and on the right you can see the most recent photos. Generally, from looking at those most recent photos, you're going to get a good idea whether or not the fall foliage is popping in that area. Don't worry. If your social media skills are lacking, there are some other resources to be able to track the progress of the fall color. Travel Crescent Butte does a great job of tracking the fall color around town with regular photo updates, and I use that site all the time. In addition, the U.S. Forest Service also usually updates fall color on their website, though not usually as regularly. Those are just some of the ways that I've been able to keep track of fall color over the years and how it helps me be able to plan for my future trips. I hope those ideas help you too. While fall is definitely one of the best times of the year, it's also one of the most popular times for people to go out and view the foliage, which means you're going to end up running into traffic as well as lots of people on the trails. One way that you can avoid that is by going out on weekday evenings. Normally sunset in Colorado isn't until about 7 or 7.30 p.m. during this time of the year, which means you can head out after work and be able to get up into the mountains and see fall color, usually with a lot less people. If you have to go on a weekend, that's okay. You're still going to get great foliage, but the reality is you're probably going to be surrounded by a lot of other people as well. No matter what, you'll end up enjoying your time, but if you're like me and enjoy your solitude in nature, try to go on weekday afternoons or evenings. There's so much more than just foliage to see and do during the fall in Colorado. One of my favorite things is the Vail Oktoberfest, which usually runs in mid to late September. Traditional Bavarian dancing, singing, food, and of course beer makes for an absolutely great time. I also consider fall to be the start of hot spring season, as the summer is way too hot for me. There's nothing quite like a warm soak in a natural hot spring on a crisp fall day. If you're a sports fan, there's also plenty to do. 
College football games can make for a fun afternoon or evening, and thanks to the fact that all of Colorado universities have terrible football teams right now, you can usually find tickets pretty cheaply. And if you're a fan of spooky season, Colorado has some awesome haunted corn mazes to visit in October like this one at Anderson Farms. And those are my top tips for fall in Colorado. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, I'd be grateful if you would give it a like to help my channel grow. Please also consider subscribing to my channel, as I also have tons of great content to help with all of your adventuring throughout Colorado in the fall and beyond. Otherwise, happy travels everyone.